Welcome everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm Bignesh and I'm the influencer marketing expert at Fires. Our goal at Fires is to provide clients with the best in class platform that is robust, dependable, and enable them to trade efficiently. Today's webinar is brought to you by Fires in association with Quantsap on intraday option buying. Quantsap is a dedicated options analytics tra trading platform made for traders by traders with the widest range of free option trading tools in the industry. Without further ado, let me introduce today's speaker, that is Mr. Rahul Prajapati, who is a corporate trainer at Quantsap. Rahul has over 10 years of experience in trading and his expertise is options trading. Having trained more than 10,000 students in financial markets, he has aced the Elliott Wave concepts along with derivative trading with financial market experience. Over to you, Rahul. Oh, thank you, Ignesh. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, uh, thank you all of you for joining this webinar. I can see that the participants are almost 500. So we, we almost like, you know, reaching a good number. Okay. So uh, it will be good to, you know, share a lot of, uh, you know, learning content today. Okay. So uh, the time that we have is approximately one, one and a half hour. Okay. So majorly the topic is basically you can see that we are talking about the, uh, you know, intraday trading. Okay. So I'll try to give you a whole setup. How can we reach to a point where we can simply go and just take a intraday trades on the options, right? Okay. So the whole agenda is to get to that point where we are just, you know, targeting the intraday trades specifically. Okay. And uh, by reading the data points. So before I start, okay, so uh, let me just ask a few questions uh, so that I can get uh, the, you know, the how, how the good crowd is, uh, you know, right now uh, with options market, okay, and how, you know, for how long these you guys are trading, okay. So just if I ask one question before, like, uh, how many of you have just started the trading after COVID specifically, right? So I'll ask my team to put a poll on this, right? Okay. So you can just click on that, uh, you know. And you can answer the second question also if you get that. Okay. So there are two questions. One is uh, how many of you started after the COVID? Okay. And uh, positional trader and intraday traders. Yeah, I'm getting a good numbers, right? Okay. So yes, just just uh, five ten seconds more, and we'll get the answers. Please, uh, I just want everyone to answer this so that we'll get a good number so that I can you know proceed with that uh, you know agenda, right? Okay. Okay, so almost 50% have been voted almost, right? Good numbers, yes. Okay, so almost, yes, okay, 70%. Hmm. Okay, So I just, uh, uh, you know, request everyone to vote so that we get the good numbers approximately. Okay. We get 70%. So those who haven't voted, just, just click one or one of the example, uh, you know, options that we have in these two questions so that I'll get the idea. Right. So how to, how to proceed. Right. Okay. Okay. So even if we, we got like 70% of the data, right. Okay. So in this, we can simply say that, uh, there are all, almost like, you know, uh, 65% of the people. Uh, they started with the, you know, after the COVID, right? That's a good number. Okay. And post COVID, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, again, that's uh, so pre COVID is that, you know, 36%, right? I, I'm getting that. And uh, second thing is positional trader and intraday trader, right? Okay. So, you know, uh, positional trader, we got 80% and mostly intraday traders, right? So everyone wants quick money, right? I can see that. Okay. So, yes. So, so that's why, you know, we, we just decided to, you know, go with this particular, uh, you know, topic today. So we'll be discussing about the, uh, you know, how to do intraday trades, right? Okay. So almost 82%. So almost out of 500 people, 82% people are, you know, trading the intraday. Okay. So see the numbers. Okay. So uh, that's a good number. Okay. So let's start uh, and building the concept. Okay. So I'll just uh, share my presentation. Okay. And uh, we'll talk about how to proceed with this. Okay. So we'll be talking about intraday option buying specifically. Okay. And if we get some time, we'll, I'll share something different also, right? Okay. So what is the content and what we are trying to do today? So the first agenda is we are trying to talk about how to select the stocks to trade for intraday. 
okay the first thing is always we need to go and select the stocks okay or probably index if you want to trade right okay and then we'll try to analyze what is the the ultimate trend of a market okay it's bull, it's bullish or bearish or, or you know in which direction we need to trade and then finally we'll talk about how to find a strategy and how to manage that trade okay so this is the agenda for intraday and even if, if i get a time we will definitely talk for positional also right because we have a good 20 percent number of the people who are trading the you know positional trade also right okay so we'll we'll talk about that also right okay now so uh, talking about the deriv uh, derivative specifically so i'll just uh, you know ask the simple question uh, again so how many of you use open interest so i'm assuming that you all know something about open interest right so okay so how many of you use the uh, you know open interest as a you know trading tool specifically the reason being i wanted uh, to know this answer because i know this answer right okay because i'm you know i'm in this industry from last 10 years and anyhow if you see the open interest is the only data that we get right so even if i ask you even if i don't ask you this question i know this answer will be somewhere on 80 to 90 percent right and that's what a concept comes in this picture is we call it a herd trading okay so we tend to copy others right okay so have you seen that number okay so that people say that 90 percent of the people lose money in the stock market right and we always there's a contra you know statement with this that if you go and you know you know go if you meet 10 people okay so they will always ask you what is what what's your view in the market okay they are who are trading in the market they always ask you and they will they always believe that you know other person knows better than them. so if when we are doing this kind of things we are asking the other people and we are just following those people right okay um so we are just again you know doing the hard trading they're just we're just copying it okay and that's why you know people started using open interest as a trading tool and then again we you know just we go and sell if so there are a lot of option sellers in this market right so they just go and sell highest call and highest put option right and they just probably some are more smarter and they will go and sell even higher strike prices okay so so that doesn't define the way to trade in the market okay so generally uh what uh we are going to talk about is we are going to create a trading setup today okay how to you know create a trading setup uh out of you know this whole uh you know derivative data that we have because as a trader we only get uh you know one data specifically from the open interest and that is oh sorry in the derivative market that is only open interest right okay so we are not going to copy it we'll just to create some good system and uh we'll we'll use it to make money out of it right the agenda is that we should earn money out of this derivative market right okay so stay tuned till end uh there are a lot of things to you know cover and i'm creating a base for it so that you in end we'll get a complete setup okay so we'll discuss a lot of things okay now next thing uh probably there are a lot of people from in this probably from delhi or probably some mumbai right okay so can you see this place can you identify this place so even if you are like in delhi or any city right big city right okay we have so we have some one station in any every city which is looks like this right okay if you talk about delhi metro we have something called rajiv chowk earlier it used to be like this in mumbai if you go and we can check the local stations so we have this borivali and andheri probably right okay so you get this much of crowd right now why i'm just showing you this picture there is a reason behind it because you know what happens is this if you you know stand somewhere in between okay what will happen the crowd will push you in and they will push you out also if if they want to right so that's what happened in in her trading when we copy it right okay fine okay so uh, so the reason being i'm sharing this is that market also uh, you know shows this kind of behavior so we don't just go and just copy others right okay we'll just you know uh, you know create something out of it okay so see so what we are going to talk about is that uh, if you see this here like i'm just just sharing one example i'll talk about in detail so what happens is this if you see this green bar of 36000 this is the earlier example i just wanted to share this screenshot okay so what happened when market was trading somewhere here okay so market moved up and these all call option sellers got trapped in this okay so if i just go back to you know uh, the picture that i showed you imagine a situation where what happens is this in this situation some emergency situation comes up in, in this crowd right what will happen there will be huge bloodshed happening in this right and there will be a lot of you know people might be you know die in this case right okay so this kind of situation also arises in the market understand this thing this is the same situation happened there are a lot of crowd on 36000 there are a lot of people who are selling this option right and what happens if market break this level from here and and, and as, as you can see that market has actually moved up by 400 points in this case here right 
So what happened? These all option sellers got trapped in this. See, they have all unwinded the position. When you find this, this, this bar as a hollow, that means a call unwinding. So they all are exited from the market and they might be shifted to these call options, right? So they all got trapped in this, right? So this is where we want to create a setup. There is a, you know, so when you're going to make money as an option buyer, when you're going to make money, you will always make money when the option seller will lose. That is the sweet spot of the market, right? Okay. When you're going to make money. So why, when option seller make money, option seller always make money when option buyer loses, right? Okay. Because they take care of, you know, all those theta and all those things, right? Okay. We are not going to talk about those things, but still we know this thing because time kills us as an option buyer, right? Okay. So we need to find that exact time when to enter the market. Okay. So an option buyer will only win when option seller will get trapped in the market. Okay. So when he is not making money, we are the option buyer. We are going to make money in the market, right? Okay. So that is what situation arises in this case, right? Okay. I hope this is clear that till this point, we are all okay. Now, so that is what a situation we need to focus and we need to find these kind of things. But to reach this area, probably we all are new to this thing. Okay. So we'll discuss the whole concept first and then we'll, you know, come to that thing. Okay. Now see, so as a option trader, okay, we have, we get these three data. Okay. Price, volume, and open interest. Now what I've seen over the period of time, if I, even if I want to trade intraday, what happens generally what people do, they just uh, so at 9 20, 9 30, they will just open a screen. They will see the chart. Okay. This looks bullish. This looks bearish. They will put some indicators and okay, that's looks bullish and that let's go and buy it. Right. Have we decided what is the trend of a particular stock? Have we decided what is the trend of a, uh, you know, the market? No, we haven't. And even if you open any particular basic technical analysis book, they always say the, the first six premises that we have for Dow theory, it says this always stayed in a trend of a market, but we always try to be going counter counter trend, right? So that's what, what we wrong we are doing. Okay. So using all these data, we'll try to, you know, get come to one good conclusion. Okay. And that's what we do. So what people generally do, they will open a chart. They will put some moving averages. They will put some indicators and what actually happens. They will start trading the market and eventually they will lose. So that's that what happening. And that's what the trend I've seen over the period of time. Okay. So I want to make your mind ready first that where is the market trend actually. And believe me, I'll make you ready for that, that you won't see the uh, you don't have to see the chart specifically till, till the time we are not taking a trade. Okay. For analysis, we're not going to see the chart, any chart. Okay. Fine. So let's try to build the concept on this. Okay. First of all. So if I move to this part, okay. So if I just simply go and try to learn something out of it is that, okay. So I'll just come back. Okay. Oh, so before I just put this, uh, so how you all basically decided a trend of a market. So I'll ask my team to again, put a poll, small poll. Okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So they will put the poll and just answer it. Okay. So they will, you will, you will have three options, right? Okay. Hmm. So you'll get this. <clears throat> So let's say if Nifty is in uptrend or downtrend, okay, how will you decide? Okay, what are the things you see? So you have three options, news, technical analysis, derivative analysis, or anything else, or none of this above, right? So there are, if I'm, if the none of the above is the answer, that means you are just trading on a hunch, right? Okay, you are just focusing on that. Okay, again, a good number. I'm, I'm surprised to see. <clears throat> very nice, very nice. Okay, I got good numbers again. And, and I can see that number, why it is. So I'll share, just give me a second. Let, let everyone do it. Okay. Just five more seconds. So I, I got almost 80% answers. Okay. So again, a very good number news. If I check the news, so there are 3% people who are still, you know, focusing on news and how market is behaving. Uh, then we have 81% for technical analysis. So I can see where the huge crowd is there, right? Okay. So as, as you also, you can Google it and you can see that the, you know, the highest population for technical analysis is in India, right? Okay. So we have the highest number of technical analysis. I can see that number here also. Okay. The good poll, right? Okay. So 500 is a good number, I think. Okay. Now the third one is derivative analysis. So I got only 11%, 11% people are only looking at the derivative data to analyze the market trend. 
okay and there are still 5% of the people who just don't believe in any of these things right okay so they are still just trading on a hunch right so good number okay i think okay so 81% people use technical analysis so probably they are just using the price action or probably some indicators right okay now what happens is this probably what could be the uh, you know things that you decide a trend so probably a moving average or the the indicators which define a trend for intraday or probably you know positional way okay so let's talk about in a different way to create a trend okay fine how can we decide with using the actual data what traders are doing and then decide a trend okay so for that we need to study open interest in detail okay fine okay so what is that thing so first of all uh, let me just share a few basic understanding of this so there is a four type of relationship between uh, you know the price and oi okay if i say nifty's open interest today is 50 lakh let's say or 50 crore or 500 crores right okay that number doesn't define anything that does that number does not have anything actually right okay so even if that is that is increasing that is decreasing does not create anything okay you don't get any any you know some sort of any any sort of idea out of it now what we need to do is we need to compare this thing with the price okay so what happens let's say the price goes up uh, and oi also goes up so we say both are increasing that means if the price is going up and there are a lot of people who are ready to buy at a higher price so price was at 100 price moved to 102 103 105 110 and the people are still buying it that means oi is increasing so what happens we say there are more trades on the long side okay that means long build up we call it a long build up so in derivative language we call it a long build up okay so what is a bias it's a bullish bias so when both are increasing we say it's a bullish market okay i'll i'll show you how to you know use this just let me finish this particular slide and then we'll move to second is both can decrease also okay the price can go down and oi can also go down so that means the stock was trading at 100 rupees it went up to 120 now what happened so oi was increasing at that point of time now price came down oi is also going down like this so that means what is happening here it's unwinding the people who bought it earlier at 100 rupees or till this point they have started booking the profit okay it is a kind of a, you know not a you know it's a temporary move that we have okay so whenever this is happening it is a temporary move market likely to follow the previous trend so it was bullish so again it has to go up if market goes up again we'll come with the this situation and oi will increase okay so that is long built up again okay market will come down again this is long unwinding again will market move up it is long so if you know this uh, so probably when when vignesh was introducing me so he was he told me that rahul has you know uh, had a good hand on uh, you know the elliot waves right okay so generally i i i had a good experience so i am trading elliot from from last 10 years right okay so now i wanted to relate this thing to that thing because when the dow theorian elliot wave came into the market we don't have the open interest data okay so we were not trading on so that that theories are actually silent on open interest so they included the volume in that if volume is increasing that is happening price is going up so we just try to improvise on that thing okay so till the time when market is moving like this making higher highs higher lows okay that is a uptrend we know in a technical analysis right okay if we include something in this that is open interest data it will again give me some good picture about it what actually traders are doing right so in this case it will be mostly long and it will be mostly long and winding it is long it is long and winding it is long so that means there is a cycle happening in this oi cycle is something which is getting repeated again and again so when market goes up it is long when market shows a uh, profit booking it is unwinding again long again unwinding again long again unwinding so this is a concept we included in this right so even if you are trading elliot wave so i've seen 70 80% of the people are you know using the technical analysis so they are aware of technical analysis right and they must be aware of elliot wave concept right so even that and even a higher highs higher low concept you know okay so that is what is happening so when market is moving up mostly it will show long and long unwinding so we call it a l and lu cycle long and long unwinding cycle okay that is a one way to identify a trend of a market that the stock is in bullish mode okay on contra what happens if market moves down so oi increases so that the third case okay when market is coming down and oi is increasing in this case so that is more people are creating trades on the short side specifically so they have a bearish bias so they are selling the market now okay now they have sold it at 100 rupees now the stock is at 80 rupees now it will show some short covering it will move up but oi will start declining 
So that is the short covering. Okay. Again, market will fall. Again, will it move up? Again, market will fall. So when market moves in a downtrend, it follows a short and short covering cycle. Okay. If I just wanted to create it in a picture, so I'll I can show you here. See this moves. So it is long. It's long and winding. It's again long. It's long and winding. It's long. Okay. It's long. Okay. So now when market started falling from here, so it is will be short. Yellow colored short covering. Short. Short covering. Okay. So this how it works. So. Now, this is a concept, okay? This is the concept of OI cycle, right? We say this is a OI cycle. It says that whenever a stock is in uptrend, okay? Whenever a stock is in uptrend, it will more of the time, it will follow a long and long unwinding cycle. And when it is in downtrend, it shows a short and short covering cycle. Now, the question arises is we are trading an intraday. Why we are trying to, you know, uh, using this a positional view. I'm talking about a positional view as of now. As I told you that we need to trade in the direction of a trend. So first of all, we need to see the overall picture. Even you all are technical an an analysts, right? Okay. So I can see that. So you always go and check the weekly chart first. Okay. You see the overall picture and then you see, okay, the biggest trend is bullish or bearish, right? So let's go and check what is happening in a one hour chart or probably daily chart. And then you go and take a trade in the early chart probably, right? So the overall picture and probably a multi-time analysis that you guys do is same what we are doing here. We're trying to get the whole picture that what, which stock is, is bullish right now or which stock is in a trend. So we'll all only going to trade those stocks, which are, uh, you know, uh, in a, in a particular trend, we are not going to touch any particular stock, which is non trending because that is what goes against us as an option buyer. Okay. That is a problem we have. Okay. So we are not going to touch any stock, which is non trending. So if that data is very random for every day, let's say it is one day's long short covering, then unwinding. So then two days long, three days short covering. When data is something like this, it says that the stock is in non-trending. It is not showing any particular cycle, right? So that, that we can simply see. Okay, fine. So this is what a trend says. Okay. Now, so long and long and long and short covering. Okay. So long unwinding and short covering are basically a temporary phase, which is going to go out of the market soon. So we don't have to be worried about it. Okay. So you can see, uh, this is the chart I'll show you in the application also, right? Okay. You can simply see, uh, just a small example here. So if you see what happens in the Ashok Leland since eight May, it went up and you see, so, so what happened is actually we have done a color coding for this. So if you can simply see what is happening with long, long unwinding, short and short coming. So we have done a color coding for all those four conditions. Whenever the situation arises, it will automatically give me that color. So see from this bottom, what happens also Leland went up. So mostly out of this five or 10, five days, we have mostly in greens. Okay. Market came down after that. Again, it went up. So it is mostly red, uh, sorry, green. And then after see it unwinded again, market went up. It again unwinded. It went up. So green, blue, green, blue. So whenever market is taking unwinding after that stock is moving up. So mostly if, if you see from this May to June, right? Most data, you will see green and only blue color. So it suggests that the Ashok Leland went from 115 to 145 just by following long and long unwinding cycle, right? So you can, so, you know, you can simply see that even if you see here, you can simply see that, that data right now is showing you that mostly it is long and long unwinding in this order. Okay. So any stock, which is following a particular cycle, we can easily detect and what is a trend of a market? Okay. What is a trend in that particular stock? We'll only going to trade the trending stocks. I hope till this point we are all okay. Okay. So let me uh, just show you the application Okay, for this. We can simply do the same analysis. Just give me a second. I'll share my screen. Okay. So, okay. So before I, I move, so I just request all of you who, because we all are having the fires account, right? Okay. So if you simply go to the profile, so this is the front face of Quantsap. So if you just go and type web.quantsap, so you will get this. Okay. Now here from here, you can link your files account okay, with this Quantsap. Okay. So here's that just log in, click on add account and just log in. Okay. And this, so you'll get that, uh, you know, uh, your account will be linked with Quantsap and you can simply place the trade from here. One more thing, if you place your, uh, if you subscribe this, you know, you do this linking, right. You'll get the one month subscription for your, uh, of Quantsap, right? Okay. So there are tools which I'm going to show you. There are, there are, you know, 
very useful tools which will help you to identify these kind of things so you can use it after the session right okay you have a good extended period of one month use it properly okay and see how you can make money out of it right okay so to, from tomorrow you can use it okay so first of all we are going to target that how do we identify that particular uh, trend okay so as we have seen that uh, we got a lot of uh, you know questions we, we i ask you questions so you guys use only technical analysis right now we have added one more flavor into that that what actually people are doing use any tool that's not an issue use any particular tool use you know bollinger band use rsi use moving averages right doesn't matter okay it doesn't matter all the tools are working fine but if you add a you know good flavor to it what labor what traders are doing you will get the good picture about the market and if i know if the stock is falling long and long and winding cycle it is already bullish right why should i go and check the chart after this simple either you you mix it mix it up all or you just see the one thing that that will give you clear picture right okay so how do we find it so i'll go to the uh, build up okay and i'll click on futures oih okay future oih means future open interest historical okay now if you see what happens here uh, even this is a nifty chart okay simply you can see so even if you see here uh, since this bottom has created after that market went up so there are a lot of yellow colors and green also but if you see when market took a dip this dip these two dip on 12th july uh, 20 22nd july after that from 26 so it was unwinding and then see market going up since then so it started a long long unwinding cycle okay now if you go and go and check bank nifty okay see this this if you see from this since the starting of july mostly you will see green and blue color so whenever market moving up it is mostly green and when market is coming down it is unwinding and then against the market picking up so bank nifty is bullish since july 33000 since whole month right okay now the question arises how will we find this thing ye hum dhoondenge kaise the how we will definitely going to you know identify which stock is following long and long and winding cycle or short and short covering cycle okay so in this case we are going to go and check the cycle okay try to learn the concept right okay this will definitely help you to you know go for intraday and positional both the trades right okay now once you open the cycle uh, page what will happen just push some numbers like for look back period push 20 okay and then you can simply go and select long and long and winding cycle okay and in count you put 40 why i'm putting this what i'm trying to do here is that i'm trying to go and look back period of 20 days i'm just to go and see what is happening in last 20 days is there any stock which is falling long and long and winding cycle yeah. okay I'll, I'll see i'll see to the queries okay please just uh, uh you know keep uh, the queries in that okay i'll take the queries all the queries right okay so that means see if you see here what is happening the 20 days i have taken and i've selected long and long unwinding cycle and i just put 14 so it says that out of last 20 days if any stock which is falling long and long unwinding for at least 14 days that means it has blue and green green color mostly try to you know help us and find that stock so if i just see this is all all the fndo shares right if i click on apply it will automatically get sorted okay there are few stocks will get it only okay now see automatically bank note is still there so in the last whole month we have just only one red that means only one shot came in between and after that it is clear uptrend so it is three days long 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 then unwinding long unwinding and then market okay uh, even if you see here you can simply see even itc is there right itc is showing you the long and long unwinding and it is moving up simply okay so even you can see pbr is there pi industries is there sbi life is there okay so you can simply go and find a stock which is trending so my focus should be on only on these stocks as of now why even if i want to trade intraday i'll be more focusing towards okay more focusing towards the uh you know the bullish trade bank nifty was going down when bank nifty was going down see bank nifty haven't gone down in the last whole week, uh, month right okay it's just moving up continuously you can see that so even that market went down it was just a profit booking happening in this case as i told you profit booking is just a temporary phase if this profit booking came in between market is likely to follow the previous trend so previous trend was bullish right okay here what happens on 22nd july market took a dip for two days and 27th it gave me another signal that market is likely to move up and see 27 28 29 three days market is up right so you can simply identify that that trend and you can see ab capital it is from 15 july it is continuously long and then unwinding then market is moving up then again unwinding again the stock went up by two percent clear cut uptrend 
even i don't have to see what is what is you know happening in the chart i know this stock is bullish right okay so you can simply go and do this okay and if i just go and short and short covering cycle same parameters i can just go and see so see what is happening if you see now most of the time you see only yellow and red but now see in the previous few days we have seen that this most of the stocks is moving up actually right okay so we haven't seen most of the shorts it's short covering move happening and some stocks is started showing long also now if the strong if the trend of the bajaj finance is weak so probably we get a good long today so it could be a reversal trade happening in this hdfc bank it was totally in a weak trend now it, it moved up today right so it might be ending its trend now okay so even you can see that the new cycle can be building up in these stocks titan you can see tcs you can see that's all it was early it was tcs it was continuously in a short and short covering but now it started moving up now today reliance is also went up by you know 2% today so you know probably this this might be end of a trend happening this okay so i can simply go and find any particular stock and you can look for those stocks indigo is okay uh, you know page industries p industries pvr these, these all stocks are bullish right okay now i need to go and check and trade in this in in, in you know in these stocks only if i am taking a bullish trend so i am not going with the you know bl blind mind that what is happening in the market whenever i open i'll go and check this screen what is happening in this what is the overall structure if the if the market is moving up and the stocks which i am going to trade today it is bullish so i'll just go and check the oi cycle and i'll get to know okay these stocks are bullish okay now then i'll take a trade fine this is one thing okay this is a uh, one particular thing that we can easily identify a trend okay fine uh, and and if and probably you will you might ask sir why are you asking us to do a lot of research in this case right okay probably that could be a case right we we are doing a technical analysis lot of research but derivative data sometimes confuse lot of people okay we don't want to put that you know effort in this so i'll give you very simple thing okay which can give you make you good amount of money or but at least you can use this for a use this tool as a to determine a trend of a particular stock or a market once you get this you will understand that whole thing okay uh probably the agenda is that we need to move towards the intraday trade so i'm just giving you as of now some gyan for that that you understand what is a trend of a market okay once you understand it the trade is is, is just a you know left hand walk okay you can easily do it okay so now the agenda is that uh, where we can find a again what is the other way to you know identify uh, you know the any trade okay so let let me just so so i'll go to a trap indicator okay so let me give you one example of how how this this still whole, whole this thing works okay so first of all if i just go and check a uh, option chain okay so probably as a as a option trader you you guys might be seeing the option chain right okay fine okay so this is the current expiry okay so let me just open okay i'm just opening a stock okay now uh just wanted to you know get something out of you is that if you see this is the open interest okay so you can use this op option chain option chain is live in our application okay and this is free tool also if you don't have a subscription you can come to this and you can see this this is live okay every data is updating tick by tick okay but open interest has a different way to so it will update it accordingly right okay now if you see what is happening in this particular strike price okay if i just go and check this on 200 strike price the open interest is light right now 17 lakhs 80000 but if you see what is happening is 11 lakh has been unwinded what does that mean there is a negative number is in the bracket 11 lakh 67000 and 600 what is the meaning of that what what could be the meaning of that that thing in this case any idea you can you can type in in the chat if you want what is what is actually happening in this 11 uh, you know <clears throat> this this 11 lakh so and what is why this is why there is addition happening in this why it is unwinding happening in this okay the reason being is that when market was trading below 200 rupees okay so these were the option sellers who wanted the market to stay below 200 right so they wanted market to stay below 200 okay now what happened after that when market started moving above 200 these all option sellers got trapped in this so we call it a trap concept 
okay who will get trapped only option seller will get trapped okay see what happens there were there were some smart option sellers who sold to 202.5 there are some others who sold 205 right they they they, they thought that market will not break 205 but it also it, the stock again moved up so this this whole unwinding when this whole unwinding is happening what is what does that suggest that when people are shifting the position so these all people have shifted the position to 2000 uh, 210 mostly and probably on a higher strike prices so when this kind of shifting happens we say that the stock is trending so this is this was a resistance for this stock coal india for the stock was resistance 200 is a resistance right okay once market broke it up it the stock moved to 210 right so this is the resistance for the stock it was okay now it has been taken out so it is now the resistance is 210 now what will happen if the stock tomorrow breaks 210 again the option seller will shift to 215 220 because they will feel that market is again moving up so when this kind of shifting happens in the oi what happens is that most of the time we say it is a trending stock right so you guys see the option chain but i'm just giving you the same thing in a different concept right okay this is how it works now go to the trap indicator okay trap indicator will help you to identify this trap kind of thing and it will identify a trade for you okay fine so let's say it is giving me so today it gave me nifty is bullish so nifty signal came today okay it's it's bullish right okay so it's saying it's saying that nifty so in nifty there are option sellers got trapped in this around 70 around 17200 okay now if i say so 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 what happens this now if i just so, so this say this call writing trap that means it's a bullish market in pnb it is put writing trap it is a bearish market okay now the question is if i just wanted to so i know that nifty is likely to move to 17500 let's say for example okay which strategy that you are going to trap you know plot in this okay which strategy will will so it is a bullish stock okay so which strategy will going you are going to put this in this okay so i'll i'll just ask my team to put the poll again so they will give you the answer okay so you can put it after that so i'll give you a few examples so nifty is, is bullish let's say 17500 okay so you can just answer in this if nifty is expected target is 17500 give me what strategy will you deploy okay okay simple long call okay good good numbers none of the above i'm getting some answers i got 1% for butterfly also right <clears throat> quickly quickly if you just quickly do it we'll just get the answers okay now that is a problem okay let me just see if the number is increases to something so we got uh, almost 70% answers please try to answer everyone so that i'll get a good picture of you what 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 the thinking we have okay so we are done okay so so 60% of the people will go and simply go and buy a long call okay so i got a most on the long call second is bull calls at 33% ratio call 3% butterfly 1% none of the above is 3% so there are people who have different strategies right okay so they might be using it okay so let's say if the answer is long call okay tell me which strike price you will buy okay so the answer the question is which strike price we will buy okay so again we'll get the uh, you know poll okay okay just a second you'll get the poll okay hmm. so i'll i'll just add it just give me a second okay so long call so i'll ask i'll give you some answers some uh, you know uh, the strike prices so right now market is 17200 so which strike will buy the question is that is a problem that people face right okay i know that market is bullish right but 70% of the people said or uh, 60% of the people said we'll go and buy long call simply so i'll give you some questions okay so uh, now tell me which strike price we'll will we'll definitely go and buy in this case okay 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 so you'll get this just just in a second okay yeah. 
I'm amazed to see that we got a 60% answer on the long call, right? Okay. But there are good numbers who said bull call spread. That is okay. Okay. We have a different choices because I haven't mentioned the time. Okay. So probably this might have the answer, different answers when we're talking in terms of, uh, you know, time also, right? Okay. But it's not that, that, that is the problem that we have. 60% people said, we'll just simply go and buy the call option. And that's why we are losing it. Okay. Now you got the three answers. Okay. Which strike price will buy? Just answer it. Okay. Mm, 17,000 call option will buy. Nice, nice numbers again. So why we are playing on 70, 70%. So there's a whole crowd that, you know, answering the same thing, I think, right? Okay. Good numbers. Okay. <clears throat> now that is, that is the problem that we have, right? Okay. So we got almost like 70% answers. Okay. Let me see if I get some more. Okay. So 68% people will go and simply buy 1700 call option. Okay. Uh, 17,500, 25% will buy 8% still going to buy 16,800. Okay. But can you just, uh, you know, say that this is the best strategy that you have got for this, this view? Probably not. Right. Okay. You know, because see, even if I'm saying that, uh, probably in this case, the 17,200 would have been giving me the best profit, right? If market reaches to 17,500. Or probably 16,500. We don't know. Or some bull call sp spread strategy would have given the best pro profit, right? We don't know the mathematics. We haven't done it. We just playing that we know this thing, but we actually don't know what is the best answer, right? I, I, I really don't know, right? So nobody will get to know what is the, what is the right answer for this? Because there are a lot of combinations that we know, and we cannot calculate that combination as a human being. So that we have a problem. Everyone has this problem. Every option trader will face this problem in their life. Which strategy to deploy? We know we can get our view. The, the question arises that which strike price will you, will you buy? And this is where we all go wrong. You bought 17,500 call option market will reach 17,500 on last day of the expiry and you will lose everything. Right? Even if you buy 17,000 market will not move anywhere. Then again, you are stuck. Even if you buy 17, 16,800 market fell, you will lose huge amount of money because you're buying in the money call option. So there are any, any instance that can happen, right? And that is the problem that we all are facing right now. And if, tell me if I'm wrong, that, that is, that, that is not happening in your life, right? And you all know, you all know this, this, this happens, right? Okay. So that option mathematics, we never do, and we cannot do actually, right? So let's say, just let me just give you one more understanding of this, and then we'll move to the intraday option segment. So we'll use the optimizer in this case, and that will help you to identify which is the best strategy for this. Okay. So let me just put this value here. Okay. So see, I'll just put nifty here. Okay. My target is let's say, okay. So 70,500. So it is bullish. You can put it as a bearish also, right? Either ways or oscillate, whatever you have. My target is 17,500. And let's say my stop loss is 17,000. Mm, let's say 150. Okay. I'm just putting this now. I want my target to come in. Let's say just 12. Okay. So this day, so this is my way. I'll click on get strategy. Okay. Which strategy can give me the best profit is, is here. The answer is here. Okay. So now we see the long call can give me 11,000 profit, but it, it will, you know, probably I'll lose this much amount. Okay. Fine. Bull call spread, bull put spread is there. It is giving me, even if my stop loss got it, I'll still make money. Right. So this, this might be a good strategy. Short put is having an undefined loss. So we are not putting in this. Okay. Ratio call spread might give you loss if market moves up. So even if, even if I, let's say I know bull call spread. Okay. We, we, we call long call. So which long call should I buy? It says 16,500 call option buy. that will give you the, that profit. You guys said 16,800 will give me this strategy. This strike price will give me the maximum profit. If my market reaches to 16,000, 17,500. So it has done all the mathematics for that. Right. And if I just wanted to create bull call spread, this is the strategy that you need to create. 16,500 will buy 780 call option when I, when I sell 17,200. So this strategy will give me the best profit in this case, right? So that is how this, this problem will get solved easily, right? Okay. So every option trader has a problem of selecting the strategy, right? Okay. Fine. So this is how you can use it. Okay. Now let's coming back to, so you can opt use the optimizer. Okay. For that thing. Now the question is, we wanted to discuss the intraday moves, right? Okay. Intraday trades. Now the question is this, 
So let's come back. So we have two tools which can easily add help you to identify what is the trend of a market. So you can use long and long unwinding cycles. Then you can you can simply go and check the trap indicator. Suggest that is a bullish or bearish. You can simply go and take a trade in those stocks. Okay. Now talking about the intraday. How do we identify which stock is going to give a breakout today? Okay. So as I opened the call in there, let me just show you again what is what was happening in this. So we'll check the uh, the OI of that particular stock. Okay. So if you see call in there. It is, if you see from bottom, mostly you will see long, long unwinding, long, long unwinding, long. And yesterday, if you see, there was an unwinding. There was a huge unwinding because of the expiry also. That was unwinding happened, right? Okay. That means stock took a small dip. There was a small dip happened in this. Okay. Now, in this case, the stock was closed around 202. Now, the stock was closed around 202. Okay. Now, see. Now, let's open the chart. So, I told you I will open the chart in the, in, in the last, okay, totally. So we know that coal India is bullish. Okay. Now see coming back to this daily chart. Okay. So it took a dip, right? Okay. It took, it came back to 197. It was a low. Okay. Now it today it opened around 200 rupees. The stock opened around exactly 200 rupees, right? Okay. Now, so it was a breakout level or it, 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 it will break out. No, I don't know. So what happens? Let's see the open interest for this. Now we'll check the, what is happening with the, uh, OI level of options, right? So earlier, what happens? See, uh, market was opened at 200. So this was the highest call option in the morning. This option has the highest call option earlier at 200 in the morning. Okay. So what happens? Yes, moving up, almost 50% of the people have unmanded their position from the strike price, and they might have shifted to 205. Okay. And then what happens? Once this this would have been taken out. So what happened? They have shifted to these strike prices. So see, the stock is exactly trading at 210. I know the stock is trend is still bullish for uh, for coal India, and if tomorrow the stock started moving up again and this started unwinding, these people are started exiting the position. I'll simply go and buy the again options and that to intraday and see the stock moved up by ten rupees today when this this kind of short covering happened in the market. Okay, see. Uh, so let me just move to this. Okay, we'll go to this. Okay, so built up cycle we have already seen. So I'll come to this example. See, this was a coal India. This is the breakout. Okay. And see what happens uh, in future in late part. Okay, here it was. So it's a one minute chart. Okay, so the stock was consolidating since uh, ten till two thirty. So this was a huge consolidation happening. Okay, now what happened in this case? This stock gave a breakout here. It gave a breakout around two zero four. And see the move after this. But how do I get a good conviction that this is going to give, give a breakout? Okay. So first of all. I will go to the application and tell you how to find this thing. Okay. So once you have few stock in your picture that, okay, this is bullish, this is bearish. Okay. You, you know, some stocks and you highlighted those stocks and you have you, these stocks are in your watch list. Okay. Now go to the triggers. Okay. Now what this trigger will do. Okay. Uh, okay. So what this trigger will do, just, you can see this. See, this is a stock. Uh, the, this is the RT. so this is it has all the FNDO stocks. Now see what is happening with the even that. Let's say I told you, you know how to find those stocks. So this is the breakout trades, right? Okay. So as we have seen, Coal India. How will you identify that Coal India is going to give a breakout? Because you cannot go and scan all these stocks, right? That is again a one issue that we are going to have, okay? In 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 in, in scanning those stocks, right? So this trigger will help you to identify that. This is the need that we have, right? We'll likely to scan all those stocks which are trading the trading near to the highest call option, right? So So you can I'll just sort it out. Okay. So it will automatically help you. See this what is happening in this case. See. So this was RT Industries was trading at 783. Okay. 800 is the highest call option where we have the green bar, the highest open interest. Okay. And then we have a highest put option. Okay. That means on the lower side. So it says that for 73, this is the resistance and this is the support we have. Okay. Now, if I check here, what is happening? The difference between these two prices is 2%. When then the current price and the highest call option, where is the resistance we have is a 2%. Okay. And support and the current price is 10%. That means if the stock fall and will reach to support, it is a 10% it has to move. So I don't have, I, I will definitely not go and check RT industries at this point of time. So I'll click on call difference and sort this out. Okay. I'll simply sort this out and find, try to find stock, which is trading near the highest.
we know the stock trend is bullish the coal india is automatically bullish right okay just give me a second sorry okay so coal india is bullish right okay okay coal india is simply bullish okay in this case so tomorrow if the stock breaks the highest call option again okay if the stock breaks the highest call option again it will give you move right that is that is what what it it has to happen so now right now we have a huge uh, you know addition happen but see in the overall reality if you see the stock haven't reached the highest call option still some difference but 52% of the oi has been unwinded this is where you got a trade right okay ixc this is unwinding has just started the change in open interest so what is the condition to find a stock the stock should be trading near the highest call option which will give you breakout and then the oi is should be negative fine so we have created a whole setup what is that the first is this that the one thing is that we need to identify the trend of a stock okay so trend of the stock we know coal india is bullish okay tomorrow what we, what i know this that the stock if the stock will break 210 and this will start unwinding there is a negative number coming up in this okay so that means we will get a breakout in above 210 also right right but still is there anything so this is a whole setup okay once it will start breaking and there is unwinding happening we know this this call is likely to move up now the question arises is that is there any way that we can still get a good uh, you know understanding at how this this move is likely to sustain because we are trading intraday okay so whenever we trading intraday how do we we were going to decide that this move is likely to sustain ye move sustain karega how will we decide how will we simply go and decide it okay so so i'll show you one more specific data okay which is which is very unique okay so i'll just open 200 call option okay 205 okay. okay now see what happens so in this chart how do i get a conviction at this point of time that this this breakout is likely to sustain because there are a lot of fake breakouts happening right okay now i'll ask you one more question here that uh, whenever we take a trade in a, any particular option or a future or when we're talking about a breakout right how you confirm that breakout generally people say the volume okay so volume is a very outdated data you know everyone everyone checks it okay everyone has that understanding that okay this is a good volume okay and again even if after giving the good volume the stock falls right okay so people know how to manipulate the volumes okay so that that's not going to help you in this case okay to have a good edge over the other people you need to have something good okay something new data okay now just remember this thing or try to you know get something in your mind that you know that whenever someone buys at a market price or he is buying at a limit order is there any difference in this is there any difference in some someone buying at a limit price putting the order at a limit price or he's buying at a market price now see what happens i'll show you we'll put the oi in this okay see what happens at this point of time when this market gives a breakout here this open interest drops suddenly this is from 3.32 it drops to almost like 2.17 or probably 15 so it's almost 50% gone why this happens so when this breakout came actually what happens these all option sellers of 205 call option this is 205 call option okay what happened with these players what happens they started feeling scared that okay market is showing a boom, momentum and we are going into loss so we should exit from this call option as a seller if they have a good conviction they have they went wrong what they will do they will go and exit the market at market price is it or wrong is it right or wrong they will simply go and exit at the market price right they will simply go and exit at the market price right okay and now you are a buyer let's say you you see this call option right okay so you, this was a trading at 700 7.8 it moved to 8.25 suddenly so you will have a fomo in your mind that okay this is going to miss out right so let's go and buy at a market price you will put a market price again here right that is happening that is going to happen so there are two people who are trading this breakout and both are placing the trade on the market price and who are these people these people are actually the you know the option sellers who are exiting the market and the option buyers who's who's you know entering in the market in the starting of the session i told you option buyer will only make money when option seller will start losing this is the this is where you know the option sellers are losing you can see that their conviction is just zero at this point of time 
they are not pretty sure that the, you know this market is likely to fall again from it so that's why they started exiting if they are exiting who is going to control the market you as option buyer okay so there are two people entering at this in this market at this point of time that is a you know, and here we are going to get a bullish market so how do we get this do we have any kind of this data which gives this uh, upper edge to identify that okay this is this breakout is likely to you know confirm or is there any data which help us to understand that okay there are people who are buying this option at a market price see this is a illiquid option this is the op stock options are not so liquid so people are not creating a lot of market orders at market in, in in these kind of call options right okay so what happens so we have created one very important data you can simply go and type buyer initiated quant quantity okay in this and see what happens so so i'll just put a line here see what happens this was a breakout level okay i'll just put it here okay so you'll have this uh, see let me make it black okay so see what happens uh, on this candle see when when this this trading was happening in this call option no no people were buying at a market price not at all okay very few orders that coming up now what happened in this once market did come to this see in just one minute you got see here the quantity see then just one minute you get 80000 quantity at a market price why someone has bought so much quantity at a market price because they might be started feeling that they are getting scared so they are exiting at the market option seller buying at a ask price this is what the quantity or option uh, option buyer are buying at a market price so it moved to this price again on the next candle see 67000 again on the next candle 62000 again 75000 in just four minutes almost like 2 lakh quantity has been bought on the market price more than 2 lakh quantity will so it's not a retail retail traders are doing it someone someone probably uh, you know big big prop traders is doing it right so if they are they have a good conviction on uh, you know yes okay just give me a second i'll just will end up right okay so this is where you you get up uh, you know the whole thing okay so once you have this this whole understanding of this uh you know that there are a lot of people who are buying at this market price so this price is not going to you know fall from here because they have bought huge quantity and see the 8 rupees call option just moved to like almost like 11 rupees in just next like 10 15 minutes right so this is what a intraday moves that you need to capture right okay this is what the moves you'll get it fine now this is actually a pro plus account that you have so as i told you you can go and simply map your account fires account with the quantsap once you will do it you can simply place the trade from the quantsap and you will get the one month subscription free from the quantsap okay so you can you have a ample of month to test it try it and see how you can you know simply make money out of it and this is what gives you edge over the other people right as a option trader we we don't need to see the charts because we know how to identify a trend we know where the breakout will come as we can simply go and check the triggers and all those things now we have one good data which is like you know uh, which is which will definitely give you upper hand which is giving you uh, you know good understanding that this breakout is likely to sustain that is a uh, you know buyer initiated quantity and seller initiated quantity right so this this might give you a good so it is we call it a order book data okay so we have created this data for nse also so nse also sell this data so you can see simply you can at this point of time you can you know uh, get these kind of trades okay now let me just cover what we have learned till now and what are the things that we need to look for okay first of all as a option trader we just not going to start randomly from anywhere okay we need to understand that what is the trend of a market or any particular stock so we'll go and check what is the cycle in any particular stock so that's what we we need to start we always go systematically lot of people start randomly and just go and open the chart okay this looks bullish go and buy it no we are not going to do that we simply going to understand that okay this is a trend this is a trend likely to be so find a cycle if the stock is bullish we know that this is likely to happen in, in, in coming up okay so that stock might be in your list okay we got few let's say three four stocks in your list okay now the second thing is that we need to see that okay is that the stock is you know uh, is, is in cycle or it is correcting or it is bullish so we know that okay once we'll go and check this we will we'll see where, if this stock is giving me a breakout so how we identify the option breakout if the stock is trading near the highest call option so we know that coal india was trading in a long long winding cycle yesterday it took a dip now today started moving up as soon as it started moving above 200 we know that this stock this call is likely to give a move okay so see even if in the morning it was trading at 6 rupees the call option and then suddenly it moved up right so here once that stock will break the highest call option where we have the highest call option 
it might give a breakout and that breakout is likely to sustain right why why this breakout is likely to sustain because we get the confirmation from something called buyer initiated quantity seller initiated quantity what is this this is a order book data you will get the real time data it's it's on one second also but at least we need one minute to scalp this trade at least okay so by the time you place your trade you get a confirmation i got to know that you have placed the trade so this is so fast okay by the time you receive a confirmation in let's say 0.25 milliseconds i'll get this data from 0.1 Point one millisecond, right? Even very quickly, you know, than that. Okay, so you have this this whole picture in your mind. Okay, so you have to be very quick in this because we are taking the intraday trades. Okay, so the agenda is that first identify, uh, you know, some stock which is trending. Okay, because we we are buying this. Okay, so we will be talking, but more from the perspective of buying. Okay, so find a trending stocks. Okay, when they will give a breakout. So like Coal India give a breakout, we'll just find it. Okay, so we have some more stocks. Like if you just go and check. Uh, so see yesterday what happened in this in bank so see it was it, it gave me move above 1000 rupees okay 1000 call got unwinded okay and suddenly what happened see see this the stock moved up and see the move after that this move came up and see if you see in the options the 7 rupees call option moved to like 11 12 rupees in just like 5 or 10 minutes in just in the morning session only once is it, so this see the quantity that they have bought it so this is again a buy initiated quantity see the how much quantity traded at a market price that point of time if this much people are buying at a breakout, just at that breakout, here also, even at that seven rupees call option turning to 12 is a good percentage move. You will have a good conviction always. Right? Okay. And that's one trade. Okay. So you can simply identify these kind of trades, right? Okay. See, one one trade we got a few days back again. That is PVR. Okay. PVR was trading around. See, this was the trigger trade. And it was see unwinding started. And this is 2000 that is the highest call option. And suddenly, see after that, what happens? This five rupees call option went up to 20. That's 200. Uh, this this 2000 call option around around 10. See, and this this buyer initiated quantity was done. And see, there was no one buying at a market price at that point of time. Suddenly, this bar and this bar just confirmed me that this is likely to move up. And see, this that call option just doubled in just in next you know five or 20, 20 30 minutes, you know, in one hour. Right? This is how you can simply find the trades. Okay. Fine. Okay. Okay, so this is this is what what we need to do. Okay, so I have summarized the whole thing. Uh, so if if you still missed out, I'll just give you the whole setup again, so you can use the tools. Okay, so for like if you want to, so just give me a second. Okay, yes, same concept will remain. Okay, so the concept will remain the same. I'll just talk talk about the uh, bank nifty, bank nifty also. So first of all, go and you know, uh, the future built up cycle. Okay. In built up cycle, you can simply identify, uh, what is the cycle. So what was the, uh, the number I'll put 20 here. Okay. And I'll just go in long, long and long and winding. Okay. And then I'll put 14 here. Okay. Click on apply. So we'll get some stock, which are trending in bullish. Okay. You can simply see bank of Baroda is still the stock is bullish, right? It shows a so today showed, shows a short, but that is not a huge shot. Okay. It's a very small shot. Okay. That is okay. One shot can come in between also that that's not an issue. Right. Okay. So this give me a, again, another sign that these stocks are still bullish in the market. Bosch is still bullish. Right. Okay. Humans is still bullish. Okay. Aisha motor is the stock is still bullish. Okay. Since 19 July, this stock is continuously bullish. Okay. So if I just go and check Aisha motor. Now see what is happening in this. We'll check the daily chart. Okay. So see it, it, it was the stock is continuously moving up. It came down and today it showed me again reversal. So it's a bullish again. So it can give me another breakout. Okay. So if I just check in Aisha motor now, so we'll go and check the OI. So I'm, I'm convinced because Aisha motor is bullish stock. Okay. So Aisha motor is trading exactly at 3100. See unwind is already been started. See 3100 call option is already been started. Okay. So there are a lot of people who already exited from the market. Now what happened if tomorrow the stock again started moving up above 3100 call option and that call option shows a good built up from the buyer initiated quantity that people are coming in buying at a market price this will again give me good conviction that i need to go and buy the 3100 call option for aisha motor by the time people will understand what is happening in the uh, aisha motor you know what trade is there in this aisha motor right okay this is what we need to do okay ltts we can check but ltts is not that liquid stock try to avoid okay so 
those stock which is uh, you know bit illiquid on the options right okay this might give you trade see 3400 has already been unwinded okay so try to be on the bit on the liquid side okay so see 3400 unwinded then that why the stock went up now the stock is trading very near to 3600 or it take a dip right so once it will break 3600 we know that this is likely to give up another breakout on the high side but i don't know what is happening in the because it's the ltts is not in the longer long unwinding cycle so first we need to identify the stock trend if the stock is in long long unwinding cycle that might that stock might give you good conviction okay the like cumins is there right okay so now if you see cumins is trading uh, 20 20 uh, sorry 12 24 right now 12 40 is the highest call option for this so as soon as the stock will start be breaking 12 40 i'll get the good good conviction trade in this okay I'll take the example of bearish also, no issues. Okay. So, because actually the market has turned totally bullish, so we will not get a stock actually, right? For the short side. Okay. I'll talk about the bank nifty also. Just give me a second. Okay. okay so, we'll go and check the. So, I just request all of you to map your account with this. So, at least you get a one month subscription and try these tools. Okay from tomorrow okay even if you get any doubt you can come to the uh, supported concept team or they will help you right okay just mail it to the whatever query you have okay they will help you so try to utilize as much as this application will save your life okay from a lot of fake trades okay so see if i see india bulls housing finance is a week see it is just weak stock so i can i can so it is it, it will go in a ban i know but let we can check it right not an issue so see india bulls housing finance is a weak stock so I'll just go and check what is happening in the put side. Okay. So the stock is trading exactly at 110.80. So if this stock break 110 put option, see, that's a good addition happened yesterday. So today in today's session. Okay. So if that breaks, it can fall to 100 rupees again. So I know this 110 put. So tomorrow, if the stock started breaking 110 and the buyer initiated quantity again, started increasing in 110 put option, I'll simply go and buy that put option. Okay. That is what example we can have it, right? Okay, fine. Okay, yes, you you might get this. Uh, so first of all, this uh, this application is only for the FNO stocks. Okay, will not get the uh, you know the equity shares data here. Okay, so this is only for FNO stock derivative options. Okay, fine. You get the recording. You can get this on our I think on the YouTube channel. Okay, so same thing. That's not an issue. Okay. The first thing, next thing we are going to talk about this uh, for Nifty. Okay. So, so just one thing I, I'll just like to bring into your notice that generally, if you see the highest call and highest put of option of Nifty and Bank Nifty are very far away. So it is very unlikely that you're going to get a trade in Nifty and Bank Nifty in this particular triggers option. Right. If you see right now, 16,500 is the highest put, 18,000 is the Ice call option. Even if I come to the current expiry, you, you might get something different. Okay. So see again, there's a difference. Okay. So huge difference, right? Okay. So that means the reason here is just, uh, you, we need to see focus on this is that you will not get good trades on indices. Okay. So what you need to focus specifically if you're intraday trader on options on, uh, uh, nifty and bank nifty only. So you need to, you know, just able to see this, this particular, you know, uh, chart very, very, you know, thoroughly. Okay. So I'll come to the current expiry, 4th August. Okay. Now see what happens. Okay. So 17,000 call option has unwinded a huge today okay? because the market opens with a gap up opening, right? Okay. So there is unwinding 16,900. See the all unwinding. Now tomorrow the market is trading near to the 17,200 call option. So as soon as the market will start breaking 17,200 call option, we'll simply go and enter in that and buy that. Okay? So see, I'll just add it here. So 17, so it was 04 AUG 22, 17,200 C. See, and now if you see it, I'll just add buyer initiated also here. And you can plot the OI chart also in this. Okay. So you will get the real time picture. What is happening with the OI actually see in, even in, in the last session when market moving up. So they see, you got a breakout here also. Okay. See in this point of time, nobody was buying major call options. Okay. So that was again, because Nifty is liquid. So people keep on buying good quantities at market price, but see, when we got this breakout, it was like one lakh, one lakh, one lakh, 40,000, 50,000. But we, when we got this breakout, see here, three lakh quantity, someone has bought 
in this 1.1.4 3 lakhs again so it is almost 4 lakhs in 2 minutes and then almost 4 lakhs again so 10 lakh quantity people have bought in this somewhere so and see the open just started declining after this 86 rupees call went up to 140 this is what the scalping that you need to find right so the market was breaking up at this point of time it gave you break right for triggers uh, let's see is there any way to get way to list on uh, not specifically you need to you need to specifically know and trade only the stock which are trading in nifty 50 okay so it's 50 stock even if you i just i won't recommend you go and trade on the all the fndo uh, 50 stocks even the 30 40 stocks the first few 30 40 stocks is okay because they are quite a liquid right okay and in nifty you will get this this moves okay so this moves are Every day you will you'll find these kind of moves, okay, in Nifty Bank Nifty, okay. But you have to be very apt and we have to be very ready for every point, every time when market moves up, okay. See, even on that day when market, you know, just moved up, see here also you'll get the good, good, good sign, okay. Market open with a gap down opening again, it, it's consolidated for some time when it give a breakout, see market moved up again. This 35 rupees went up to like what rate, okay. Fine. So this, this, this trade will keep on getting, but you have to be continuously checking the chart of that recent strike prices okay so it is 17200 so check that 17200 c okay the market is trading near 17000 let's say 170 again you need to go and check 17200 only so just go for a, the nearest proximity call option and just you know just go and take a trade on this okay okay so okay let me just just okay so no no for the commodities right okay so it's only for equity shares as of now uh, please send the account linking post. So you go simply go to the web dot concept. Okay. Once you register your, uh, you know, register your number and all those things, go to the profile. You will get this, uh, you know, fires here. Okay. So just click on this num this thing and you'll get the, you know, credential to portray. It, okay. You click on login. You will get that. If you just put it there, your name and client ID, you will get this. Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. Just you can put it there. Uh, if you uh, so these these indicators are not uh, not in the fire specifically, but if you link your account, it will get it right. Okay. Okay. So these uh, PCR available yes, put call ratio is there. Okay. Okay. Please explain how this will help in option selling strategies. Okay. Uh, sorry, just. Okay, so how this will help just in the option selling? So in the option selling, there is so let me just uh, give you a glimpse of it. Just a second, okay. I'll share. Don't worry. Just just give me a second, okay. Okay, find that. That works. Okay. okay. So option selling strategy for option selling. So we have a one good tool. So you don't have to, you know, use these tools specifically. We have a one good tool and you can just, you know, um, use this option writer tool as a, you know, for option writers. Okay. So this is very good tool, very newly optimized. Okay. You go and explore this tool. We have some webinars also. We can just simply go and check how to use this uh, particular tool. And this is very nice. Okay. So this will automatically optimize your you know option selling you know kind of uh you know uh, the strategies right okay so this will automatically give you the optimized strike price which we need to sell okay but today's session was mostly on the buying side so that's why i've shared only from the buying perspective so once we'll we'll we keep on doing a lot of you know webinars with fires okay so once we'll come with the option writing tools we'll definitely talk about the option writing also in that case okay so that's the thing okay so any further queries that you can uh, can you also add the sell initiative? Yes, you can add. So there are like almost 33 indicators, right? Okay. So for order book, right? Okay. Simply if you go and check uh, the Q hyphen, so you can add the higher order weeks also. And there are a lot of, you know, other, uh, you know, indicators, which is based on how data is actually flowing in the, uh, you know, order book, cancel orders, buy order, average order, average order, average cancel quantity, new order quantity, buy initiate, seller initiate, right? Trading VWAP. So you get all those indicators. Okay, so you need to 
specifically use which kind of you know information that you need from that order book okay and that's why the name is also very simple to understand cancel average buy order quantity so what are the uh, you know average quantity that has been cancelled at that particular minute you know this thing right okay. so that is what what we have okay. fine okay okay so that's the thing okay so i'll just uh, yeah so just uh, Thank okay you. So much from yeah, yeah. Right? Of course, yeah, yeah. immensely insightful. I'm pretty sure uh, people have got a lot more questions coming in, but of course, since we are uh, uh, under the duress of time, I would suggest that if you have any more questions, please write to support at quantsapp.com and uh, you can uh, uh, also take advantage of the one month quantsapp premium for FIRES users uh, by using the link that is there in the chat box. So click on that, link your FIRES account with Quantsap and enjoy the one month free Quantsap premium that you can uh, use without any uh, restrictions. So yes, uh, once again, viewers, thank you very much for joining us. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to Quantsap at support at quantsap.com. And also, did you uh, have you heard about our uh, uh, NRI account? So this is a new feature FIRES has launched for uh, users for traders for nris who are out of country and would like to trade in india so you can log on to fires.in slash nri to open your nri account today do spread the word with your friends and family as well so thank you very much thank you for joining see you soon happy trading with fires yeah. Yeah. thank you